Hello people of YouTube, welcome to my living room and to episode number 22 of my creative podcast. I'm Selma and you can find me on the internet, mostly on Instagram and Ravelry as Selma's Knits. I hope you're well. Welcome if you're a returning viewer. Welcome if it's your first time here, if you're a new viewer. It's always a pleasure to um, join you for a new episode. Although I want to apologize in advance if today's is a bit more messy than usual. I am not at my best, so my prep was definitely not, not perfect. And uh, yeah, I decided to film nonetheless because I won't be able to in the next two to three weeks, like at all. And uh, a full month break is a little long. That would have meant an episode which would have probably lasted for four hours, <laughs> the next one, and that's just not good. So here we are today. We will talk about uh, knitting and sewing and my very reasonable stash extension of the last two weeks. There were two festivals which I attended where I did spend a bit of money. So here, here it is. <laughs> I will show you everything. Well, grab your cup of tea, your glass of wine, your whatever you want to drink. Grab your whip and... Um, Let's get going. Let's start with the finished objects. You will see that I have only one in each category, but they're pretty fine, so it's okay. The first finished object is knitting related. It's the cardigan and booties, which I made for my new nephew. Yes, I know it should have been in the post uh, last week already, but I thought, what are a couple of days more? So I, I waited a bit to send them so I can show them to you. I made them with 100% merino yarn from Lil Louise. Well, from Lil Weasel, but the yarn is called Lil Wiz. The ribbon is actually biased, biased tape. So yeah, when my... <laughs> When when um, when my sister-in-law told us she was pregnant, we asked, okay, so is it is it going to be a girl or a boy? And when they knew, she said, well, um, you should tell, she told my husband that you should tell Selma that uh, she should knit something in blue or green. So we assumed it meant boy and it didn't mean boy. So here they are, the little blue booties. This time it didn't take me a full year to make them. Good, much better. The cardigan was finished, uh, I don't remember when, and the booties, as planned, took me less than a day to make. They were very easy, and I had no problem with the length of yarn which I had left, as had been the case with the previous pair which I had made, where I had I had, had to uh, scale down, you know, to do the first si the smaller size, because I didn't have enough yarn to make both in the bigger size. So here they are, yeah. It's a very simple pattern. It's called the Lil Kimono by um, um, Lily Come Too. And yeah, it's very easy to follow. What was nice is that I could really see the progress I made since last year uh, with uh, Magic Loop. The, 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 the sleeves are much more regular than um, my knitting is much more even than in the previous version I made, which was by no means um, um, ugly or distorted or anything. It's just that it's prettier now. So it's nice to see some progress. It will probably go in the mail tomorrow if my husband can be persuaded to brave the French post office. We will see that. I hope so. So that's my only finished object in, uh, in knitting because I... But as soon as I was done with this, I focused on the secret sweater, which I'm knitting, which I will show you af afterwards, because um, I really want to be done with it soon. So I only knit this, so I have nothing else to show you. But I have a finished object, a finished dress, actually. The dress is called uh, Leaf. It's the name of the pattern. It's by Dessinois en Patron. I think I showed you the package last time. It's really, really nice. 
Um, I made the size 40 because I was between two sizes and I thought since it's a wrap dress, it would be easy to adjust um, one way or another and the shoulder size seemed fine. So I went for the smaller size of both of the two. It's, um, it's fairly easy to make. There are a couple of, well, quite a few pieces, but then it's normal. I forgot in the French version to add that I um, actually added pockets to the um, to the dress it doesn't have them normally but i added them because i was done with it and i was like huh, i need pockets so i basically um, opened the seams on the size on the side and um, used the pat the pocket pattern the pattern for uh, pockets from another uh, piece and um and added them afterwards it was not the easiest thing and next time i will definitely put them on before I finished the dress, but it was a learning experience. Can I say that? Anyway, it's very comfortable. Um, the wrap, the wrap actually completely overlaps. So, um, so even if there is really, really strong wind, you will not flash your underwear to anyone. It's uh, it's really nice because it's it's um, it's high in the front. Although maybe on the in the next version, I will put the 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 color a little lower because it's not I'm not used to having something sit so high um, around my neck and I can just get used to it but it's not what I prefer and the back was uh, was perfect that's on first try I had to do no adjustments whatsoever and was really nice it's actually um, um, how do they call that a muslin I think um, for the final version which I will make for the Post wedding brunch where I'm invited in June, and uh, and I'm very happy with it. I forgot to tell you what I'm drinking today. It's um, it's David's tea, Japanese sencha. I think it's organic Japanese sencha tea. It's really good, but it's like green tea. I made the longer version of the dress because you can also make it shorter, so so over the knee. And um, the pattern also gives you with the version the possibility to make a top, which is also uh, which also looks really nice. I will probably make one um, in another of my lighter fabrics. Yeah, I would not recommend starting sewing this with a very light fa fabric like I did, because it moved a bit, and in the end, the pieces of the pattern were not exactly symmetrical identical whatever it worked i made it work by adjusting the the seam allowance but yeah it's not the easiest but i still really like it i wore it to church on thursday on friday and i had only compliments about it although that's not really why i wore it if you follow me on instagram story on instagram and watch my stories and you can actually understand it you will see that uh it was a stroke of luck that I actually managed to wear it on Friday because at first I had had to jump into jeans and sneakers to go to church and that's eh, it's not it was not really appropriate so uh, fortunately I could go back home and change but anyway it's my own fault I was already confused on Friday <laughs> so here are my two finished objects of the last two weeks I have a lot of whips though my first whip is my secret sweater which I told you about earlier. Keep it in my Kuni bag, which I bought in Berlin. I finished the right sleeve, which makes me extremely happy. And I'm on to the left sleeve. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Ta -da! It fits just right. But it was not. Um, I had to do quite a few adjustments because I tried the sleeve when I was like down to my elbow and was still fitting fine but then I tried it 15 centimeters later maybe and it was way too big just way too large if I followed the instructions of the pattern so I ripped off those 15 centimeters and uh, started again making more um, decreases Basically, I did twice more decreases than indicated in the pattern. And um, yeah, if I had followed it, it would have been way too large and way too long. So just, it just wouldn't have worked. 
I'm really glad I did the adjustments. I'm like six. Yeah, I have six stitches less than I should have had in the end, like here at the bottom. Um, but it, and, and it's just right this way, so that's good. And I talked to other people who told me they also had to make adjustments, so it's probably not just me. Um, I haven't done anything on the body, but I I hope I will be able to finish the sleeve before I leave for uh, the UK on Saturday. Um, I will definitely not be done with the with the, the full sweater by then, but I will take it with me. It doesn't matter. I have a train because we are taking the Eurostar to uh, to London, and then I have um, I have some flying time because I'm flying to Inverness from London. On Monday and um, yeah I should be able to knit more also I'm taking the train on Tuesday for an exam and on Wednesday for the way back so that's four hours of train and a whole which should be used unless I sleep which is also completely possible um, what was I what did I want to tell you yes I have been using these 30 meters uh, stitchy these 30 centimeter needles <laughs> Uh, from Cheogu and I've gotten used to them. I wasn't that convinced last time when I told you about them because it felt just weird but now that I've gotten more used to them I really really appreciate the fact that you can actually knit more regularly than if you were using magic loop. I still did the ribs at the bottom of the sleeve with magic loop because I don't have the right size of needles in, in smaller ones and it was fine it's uh it's still clean and not stretchy in weird places and anything but it's still not as convenient or as comfortable so i'm really glad i invested in these maybe i will get other sizes as well i didn't want to get well, to spend too much before i before knowing if i really liked it you know now i know that i do the other two work in project works in progress which i have are sewing first one is a skirt well both are skirts actually the first one is an M comme Marrakesh skirt which I've hacked a bit to um, adjust it to a different um, belt actually waistband let's say what's waistband yeah it's fraying quite a bit so I might sew the sides to make them a bit cleaner when I'm done I know that it's not how you're supposed to do it but I don't mind I don't care so it's fairly easy it's going to be long because it's for a wedding again I may a version of this dress is this skirt in black linen last summer and I really like it I wear it a lot when it's in season obviously I haven't sewn the sides yet because I didn't want I need to adjust the waistband to the waistband of another pattern so I didn't want to sew the full side sides if I needed to um, open the seams again you know so I just did the top and I will finish them later at some point today probably um, I'm using the the waistband of the botanic pants it's culotte you know which I which I showed you I made them in in a woolen fabric um, in the winter and yeah what I wanted was a flat front and an elastic back the the, the skirt the Emka Marrakesh skirt originally has an elastic waistband in the front and in the back and I didn't want that I wanted the front to sit flat that's why I'm changing it but then I'm having to adjust things quite a bit to make everything fit together you know lengthwise and widthwise we will see it's a bit of an experiment but I've decided that I wouldn't be mad and I wouldn't um, do crazy stuff or like ripping off everything if I, if it was not completely perfect because it makes no sense and it's exhausting and no one sees it no one sees the imperfections except for me the second uh, work in progress which I have is a million pearl skirt by Ivan um, Ivan S Ivan Souffle je crois I think that's her name I'm making it with leftover a chambray from my aster blouse which i showed you last time so that's the front it's it has pleats in the front and it's really nice i'm making it in duo with a friend uh, but i we were supposed to do it make it this weekend but i re don't really know where she's in in the 
in the making and I've just um, I've just cut off the pieces because I was a bit carried away with the other skirt yesterday I have to admit the lining will be made with this fabric which I bought in February and I, I have too much of it for what I want to make in the first place so I decided to yeah it will be the pocket and the back of the waistband so it should be nice this skirt is going to be another example of imperfection and hacking to um, try to make things fit because I was a bit distracted when I cut the back piece and I didn't recognize that my folded piece didn't exactly overlap so one of the size, sides is slightly smaller than the other it doesn't it's not a big deal I will just shorten everything the front part is fine so I'll just make the top as planned and the bottom will be a little shorter it's it's no big deal to be honest really so that is it for my works in progress i can't wait to be done with the sweater i have to admit it's uh, it's getting a little long and i'm looking forward to be able to wearing it hopefully soon and hopefully before the end of the knit along which was organized for it it ends in well, two weeks at the end of May. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I will now show you what I bought in the last two weeks. And I will start with the most recent event. Um, it was a small festival called L'Heure de la Laine, which was taking place during an um, agricultural fair. I think I can call it that way. Um, it was like 10, 10 stands and, well, 10 vendors. And, and a picnic, actually. A giant picnic in the middle of the of the fair it was super nice it also allowed me to bring a bottle of um, of uh, pinot gris <laughs> take it out of my bag i had always wanted to do that honestly okay it was a cooling bag but i i don't know i don't do picnics that often and when i used to do them more i wasn't really old enough to drink so yeah, it made me happy to just take up my... Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. It's just that the gesture of taking the bottle out of my bag was weirdly satisfying. <laughs> anyway, I was very reasonable there. I only bought two things. And the first one is these, this set of three from Arcoiris Yarn. Yeah, yeah. Arcoiris Yarns. It's gray, blue, gray. The first one is called, the darkest one is called Nostromo. This one is Prometheus and this one is Covenant. Um, they are both her, um, her base called Star Sheep. It's DK weight yarn and it's uh, Marina Superwash, Silk and, and um, Stellina. So it's very, very soft. It's my friend Mathieu's fault. I blame it on him, 100%. Now, I said I really like what Ludivine, so the dyer from this, um, from Arcoiris. Um, I really like what she does, and um, but I'd, I'd, I have no idea what to make at the moment. I have, I already have, sorry. Sorry, I will stop messing around with the plastic bag. Um, I already have um, yarn for all the projects which I'm considering at the moment. So um, what makes sense, you know? I don't want to buy um, single skeins, which I won't know what to do with afterwards. And he was there and he said, my neighbor's kid running around. Um, and he said, yeah, if you get three skeins of DK weight yarn uh, in like in a month or something, there will be a test for you because he's a designer. And I said, okay, to be fair, he said three skeins in the same color. But then I don't think that Ludivine, I don't remember if she had three um, skeins of the same color. Um, of the same dye lot and everything so I just chose this one which was the nicest anyway and I told him that he had to adapt his pattern so that it works with a gradient I know I'm a good friend like that <laughs> so that's my first purchase of that day <clears throat> and the second one I will take it out of its bag because I recognize when I was filming the French episode that um, it doesn't show up really nice in, its, in the bag it's a badge a pin from twill and print I'm 
It doesn't want to focus. I don't know why. Ah, maybe it's fine now. So it's three cups. Let's say sip sip knit. I just really really like it. I basically I have all of her shop in my favorites on Etsy. I just love everything she does. And also she's just started an episode, uh, well a podcast with uh, knitting it up, Annie. Um, and they're super fun together. So go watch it if you haven't yet. I will order more of her pins in the future, in the near future, when her um, when her shop is restocked. If it hasn't been yet. I should check that soon. Yeah, that was uh, that was it. It was a really nice day. Not too far. Well, it wasn't taking place really far from Paris. So um, it was easy to go there and back on, on the same day. That's what most people did. It was very, how to say that, very warm, very comfortable. A lot of nice people uh, sitting on the grass, knitting, talking, eating. Just, just really, really nice. Even my husband said it was nice. And he's not a knitter. <laughs> but he brought his Rubik's Cube, so he was busy. It was okay. The second part of my haul... I, I hate this word. The second part of my stash extension, I brought from the festival called Clamarfil, which took place last weekend. It was really nice again. It was over two days. I only came on Saturday, and I, stay, I spent most of the afternoon at my friend Marie's stand because i told her that i would help her she was uh, giving a workshop so she needed someone to man the stand and it was really fun yeah it was seeing a lot of new people and old friends and um, people are just so nice you know it's really a great community and you have so many conversation starters when you're knitting i recognize that lately as well on the subway when uh, several people actually it's always women um, asking me what I'm knitting and telling me that they used to knit when they were younger and um, that it's really seldom to see younger people knitting and in our friends group my husband talks about it to his friends you know when he when he's playing online and they ask oh where your where's your wife and he said well she's at her knitting evening you know knit night and um, they rec well he recognized that it's mostly young people in our knitting group of course you have grannies as well but uh, mostly it's just regular people and, and yeah, for whom knitting is just fun. Anyway, I wanted to tell you about what I bought. I started on a uh, By Night's um, stand. I bought a lovely project bag. It, cl it has a button there and... Um, and... Um, this <laughs> it's a leather strap let's say uh it has several pockets inside yeah i got i have a couple of badges in here more for my collection yeah it has uh, several pockets inside it's really really well uh thought and i'm really glad i bought it i didn't go for one of her bigger sized handbags uh, well, handbags project bags because i just I couldn't afford one um, just now with all the all the yarn I just bought, but um, yeah, I know. Well, they are they are expensive. Everything is relative, obviously, but they are a bit of an investment. But they are also really good quality, and they take, of course, they take time to make. So um, I wouldn't mind paying for it. It's just that I couldn't, so I took the small one. So if you, but if you can, then definitely go for one of her bigger bags because they're really, really nice. Sorry, I also bought yarn from her. Um, she dyes um, with plants, bugs, and love. That's what her label says. This one is Koshni. I don't know the the English word for it. It's a it's a small bug actually that creates this red color. It's her base called Star Stock, so it's merino superwash and nylon. I will make a um, sweater with it already. Everything I bought there has projects attached. Just so you know, I don't buy stuff out of the blue. I know it's pink and it's just not something I usually use or wear, but I thought it would be a nice change, a nice addition to my wardrobe. And um, it's not too light a pink, you know, it's not something that will make me look washed out. So, and I just liked it. 
she had a really really nice range of colors non-yarn related but on top of my bag i also bought this zippered bag with a shell and a pearl yarn ball it's really good quality actually the zipper is really really nice um from her from charlotte i also bought cards so the one that says if i'm sitting i'm knitting Trico, mojito, e soleil a gogo. That means um, tri knitting, mojito, and and um, sun, and a lot of sun, and tricopet. So that's yarn and well, knitting addict. She illustrates them actually. Also ke kept in this bag are progress keepers from Les Amusements Dem. Uh, she had. Um, theme sets of uh, progress keepers and stitch markers but I couldn't decide on one set so I just decided to take some from various themes so there's this one that says knit fast knit fast die warm I don't know if it's going to be that visible I have this one that says time lord <laughs> there time lord I have this one that says, um, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. And this was that's a, this one that says, off with her head. Um, I also bought yarn weight gauge. She can call it like that. It's, um, it's a wrap, wraps per inch roller gauge. Because sometimes, you know, the label says light fingering or light DK and it's pretty hard to pin it to something in particular. So I thought I would uh, get this. So sometimes if I have a doubt, I can just wrap it around and check. Because I also have quite a few leftover yarn balls where I don't have the... Um, I don't have the label anymore or I have a doubt, I'm not sure. So I will use this to ensure I don't do anything stupid with yarn which is not intended for that use yeah i'm going to show that to you right now even though i did not buy it at clamart but i ordered it online and had it delivered at clamart maison corlaine so aurore and her boyfriend partner guillaume um have started a brand called maison corlaine um which has a really really nice um universe let's say so this is her well the labels are all Anne Foll, that's uh, that's the Roaring Twenties, I think, and um, she has um, she has a, a range which is more Art Nouveau, so more end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century. All her style is amazing. Let's say that I love it. So I got this yarn, which is called Alexandre. That's the name of the color. It's a nice dark blue with uh, it's merino nylon and stellina and i will make socks with it once i've decided that i actually can knit socks i also got this badge because there's a there's a cal going on um, called um crimes and knitting knit along with you have well it's a bit complicated to explain but anyway i'm team sherlock but i'm th i think i will just get out of that of that um cal because it's um, it demands too much involvement let's say that i can actually give it at the moment but the badge is super nice i hadn't seen when i bought it that it's actually a bubble you know and it looks really really fancy i love it and oha actually very kindly agreed to deliver it at the festival because she was there so I was lucky to have a next day delivery from the very talented Simone. Well, actually she's called Virginie, but her yarn is called Yarn by Simone. I got two skeins of, it's like burgundy. I don't know how to call that actually. It's actually created quite a lot of conversation because people don't agree on the color. Some people say that it's plum. Some say that it's dark purple. Some say that it's burgundy. I say it's burgundy. Um, I'm planning to make the Zaza sweater by Maria Amelie Designs. It's her latest sweater and it's also one she's giving away all the benefits from this or all the profits from this um, pattern to a charity during the month of May. So if you haven't gotten it, 
it's not too late. It will still be sold afterwards, but the money will go to her and not to the charity anymore. So it's 100% merino superwash, fingering, weights, yarn, and it's 600 meters per skein. It's 150 grams, which I found really, really cool because that way you can have just two skeins of 600 meters instead of having to buy three of uh, 400. I took advantage of her presence to get another set of two in her uh, only black, 100% merino again. But the, the colorway is called only black and it's just black and I will make a cardigan with it. Because I recognize that I have, um, I have, I don't have too many cardigans in my wardrobe and none of them are handmade and all of them are getting to the end of their wear, let's say. I've had them for a certain number of years. <laughs> but now I think it's time for me to replace them with something more personal, something handmade. So this will become a cardigan. It will be the Sirva by Maria Meli Designs again. And the last thing I bought from Simone is this set to make socks. It's her... Um, Socks based on merino and, ni and nylon in the Thai Midnight um, colorway. So it's a dark blue with lighter blue streaks. And this light blue called Blue Valentino uh, for contrasting um, heels and, and toes, probably. I saw it, I saw this kind of colorway knitted. She had a pair of vanilla socks on her stand in a shade, which was, I think, the background was dark was black and the streaks were pink and it looked really really cool so i thought i need this for more socks which i haven't started yet and i also ordered uh from squirrels yarn something which i will show you when i have received it i got four skeins i think of dk weight for a cardigan again and you will see that the next time in one of the coming episodes. I recognize I forgot to show you something else which I bought in Le Adler de la Laine. I'm sorry, for that charity I told you about earlier. I got two cards for the charity. This one says knitting heels and this one says yarn therapy. I think this one was a limited edition for Lord de la Laine. I'm not sure if it will exist later, but I thought I like cards. And therefore, a good cause. There was a lottery organized at L'Ordre de la Laine and at Clamarfil, so at both festivals, um, to benefit this charity. I bought tickets on both occasions, and I didn't buy, I didn't uh, win in Normandy, but I did win in Clamart. I got the second um, prize. Prize. It was really, really cool. I got two tickets and, you know, I bought both of them from um, my friend Gladys and we were sitting um, across from each other when they were pulling the numbers from the from the bag. And I was like, yeah, but what, can, what kind of, of, of a bad ticket lot do you have? None of yours are actually being pulled out, you know, or being picked. And then I won. It was an innocent hand. It was. It was a child. Anyway, uh, I was really happy I, I won. So I won this um, small project bag with this lovely illustration from Zach. And I got the card with the same illustration. There were two skeins in the bag, but I didn't actually like the colors. Although they were lovely, they were just not my style at all. So I asked the dyers who were there if I could maybe exchange them and they were kind enough to accept. So I got this uh, soft DK, it's 100% super fine merino from the uh, Falklands. So it's DK weight and it's called, the colorway is called Fisherman from Imogen, Big Bite Yarn. Yeah, I should tell you right now as, a, as an aside that uh, Imogen is having a um, crowdfunding campaign at the moment to uh, um, improve her equipment because she has some health issues which... Um, make it a bit complicated for her to uh, to work basically and um, and she needs our help to get more equipment to make it more easy and be able to um, keep it up and improve her production of yarn so i think it's a it's a nice thing to participate to if you want 
she, I, she has really really great colors anyway so i got this navy blue and i got another blue from my friend Lélène de Bibounette so that's Marie who's uh, whom i helped uh, man her stand on saturday i um, took it from her base which is merino nylon and stellina and it's called le marine de Bibounette which means the navy Bibounette navy blue because in real life it looks a bit black but it does have blue stellina actually and uh, and blue undertones which are probably more visible here in the video than, than in real life it really depends on the light actually and in the bag i also got stitch markers from lily come too it's the regular small rings and there is also a progress keeper with the star and i got patterns i got four no three four pattern patterns the fourth one is here i got this one from lily come too it's a cardigan again called melaine it's really really pretty it's a cropped cardigan but you can probably lengthen the body quite a bit if you want to and there's a download code for Ravelry which is the best and I had vouchers for um, a patron from Bergamot et Citron and from Marie Amélie Designs and from Christelle Niul who are both very talented designers so I'm super happy I got pattern fr patterns from them I actually support Marie Amélie on Patreon and you should definitely consider supporting her as well because she's a really really good designer and um and the rewards are really fine as well so you should go and take a look i will put the i will put uh, the link in the show notes which will be on ravelry as always well i have shown you everything i got that was uh, quite something but to be honest when i came back from clamar you know i put on the sofa everything i bought and i was like hmm that's okay it's not that bad could have been much worse it can always be much worse but i there will be no more yarn um, orders or purchases in the coming weeks hopefully in the coming month because i have no events planned yarn related and uh, although i'm going to the uk next week i will not i haven't planned any stop in a yarn shop not even at loop no i will be reasonable i will be strong anyway when i'm in london i won't i won't be on my own so um i don't think my friend will want to accompany me there she's not an editor there will be quite a few busy weeks coming i will i'm working next week but on saturday i'm i'm uh, taking the train to london and on monday i'm taking a flight to inverness and then i will be on the road so if you want to follow my adventures uh, in the uk you can definitely uh, follow me on instagram I'm really happy to go to uh, Inverness and the area. I will drive along the North Coast 500 and on my first, mm, full, well, at the end of my first full day there, I will be uh, having dinner with Louise Hunt from uh, the Kate Craft Collective. She has um, a lovely podcast. It's an audio podcast, which you can find on, on iTunes, sorry um she's super super fun to be around and uh, to listen to so i'm very happy i will get to see her again i met her in edinburgh and she was awesome there and yeah it makes me very happy i hope you enjoyed this episode um i will see you again in three weeks probably <laughs> i hope so and uh well in the meantime enjoy your knitting enjoy your sewing and uh, take good care Bye.